Hi, I'm Dr. Katie Van Valen, and on this week's episode of Beef Minutes, we're going to talk about ways that we can improve the efficiency of feeding hay this winter. So research has actually shown that in some cases we can lose up to 50 to 60 percent of our hay due to storage and feeding losses, which ultimately has a great impact on our overall efficiency of our winter feeding program. So while there's not a single uh, solution to making hay feeding more efficient, there's lots of small things that we can do uh, throughout the year to make hay feeding more efficient. One of the things I want to highlight to you is this hay feeder behind me that was built and designed by Dr. Steve Higgins. And this particular feeder here at the University of Kentucky Research and Education Center has some really nice features about it. The first thing is you'll notice that it's on concrete and there's enough concrete for the entire animal to stand on. We could have also used something like gravel or geotextile geo fabric as well, uh, but what this allows us to do is minimize uh, the impacts on that sod around this hay feeding site. The other thing about this particular feeder is where it's located on our farm. So what this feeder allows us to do is service multiple fields uh, so we can allow access from different points to the single feeding place. The other thing that you can't see is that behind my camera uh, is our hay barn and so our farm crew only has to travel about 20 yards from our hay barn and our hay storage site to put hay into this hay feeder. Also by using this single point hay feeder here, uh, we can put out more than a single day's worth of, of hay with, while also minimizing feeding losses because it stays contained in this feeding area. There are some other options that can improve uh, the efficiency of which we're feeding hay, and that would be using some type of hay feeding structure. Uh, so research out of Michigan State showed that using a cone type hay feeder had the least amount of uh, feeding loss, followed by a traditional hay ring with the metal skirting on the bottom, uh, because that ultimately helps keep the hay more contained so the animals don't trample into the ground and ultimately uh, choose not to consume it. There is some other uh, research that shows that uh, if we put out a single day's worth of hay, so if we are putting hay out on the ground, putting out a single day's worth of hay, uh, it's definitely more efficient than putting out a whole week's worth of hay um, because ultimately cattle trample that hay uh, into the ground. Uh, and so that represents a pretty significant feeding loss. So these are just a few options that we can utilize to improve the efficiency of which we're uh, feeding hay to our cow herd this winter. So I encourage you uh, to think about your hay feeding program and think about where your hay is stored on the farm and how you're feeding it and because all of these things can greatly impact the efficiency of our winter feeding programs. That's been this week's Beef Minutes and we'll catch you next week.